Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be something a little bit different for me. It's going to be a bit more of a personal one, but I feel like this is a video I have literally thought about making for three years of my life. I've actually now done five takes of this. I feel like it's time for me to talk about this on my channel. I feel like as soon as I decided that this would be what I was doing today, I felt such a sense of relief to get this out. But it started to feel like a bit of a secret that I can't talk about, I can't discuss, and I don't want it to feel like that because I'm not ashamed of what I've been through and no one going through this should feel ashamed and it should be something we can talk about more openly. So, three years ago, I had my first miscarriage. Um, it was, I, I mean, I can't remember exact dates. If you've been through this, you'll know. Dates are just, whoo, everywhere. And it was about a month and a half before my wedding. It was actually, the actual miscarriage happened like a day or the day of my hen do. So it's all very bad timing. Not that a miscarriage ever can be good timing, but it was not the best. Um, and I'm not gonna go into details about what happened and all that stuff because I feel like that's just maybe not for this video. But yeah, I had my first miscarriage. It was extremely difficult, but I did have my wedding to kind of keep me going, keep me busy. Um, but I did get married with a very dark cloud around me, which makes me so sad. I had a lovely, lovely day and I'm so happy that it happened but there was a sense of sadness on that day for me personally. But with it being my first, I had so much hope, so much, you know, so many good figures around me. There was numbers. I was like, you know what? This happens to so many different people. It's gonna be fine. Next time it will be fine. And then three years later, I've now had four miscarriages, which even looking at that is like crazy. I've had four losses in my life. I've gone through grief four times and I've lost four babies. I've always wanted to speak about it on my channels and on my platforms because I feel like if I've had to go through this, there must be a reason and I feel like maybe that reason is that I can talk about it and maybe I can help some of you guys that maybe have been through this because it is so common and I feel like I want to be that voice for recurrent miscarriage that can you know, talk about it openly. But I have found this so painful and so personal to open up about that I literally feel like I avoid the subject completely. It's, I mean, incredibly difficult to not open up to you guys. I put my life online. I show you guys what makeup I'm wearing, what clothes I'm wearing, how I'm doing my hair, what I'm doing in London, what, but I don't talk about the one thing that is the biggest thing in my life. It's the thing that takes over my mind every day. And I don't discuss that with you. It feels so weird to just come on this camera and be happy, and be happy Laura and flick that switch and be like, you know, hey, this is what I'm gonna talk about today and not be able to do the videos that actually, this kind of stuff, talking about the real stuff because this is what happens to so many different people. And I am a very sensitive, emotional person. So for me, this is like the hardest thing I've ever had to go through in my life. I don't know if I've said everything I want to say. Hopefully I have. But this is it. Recurrent miscarriage is no joke. It sucks and it's absolutely crap. And I'm so angry every day that I'm having to go through this, honestly. But... If I can help one person searching YouTube, Google, whatever they're searching for a video that makes them feel less alone, then I've done what I've set out to do. I do have some positives from this and I feel like to end this video, it would be really good to mention those positives because not everything is doom and gloom as much as it feels like it when you're the one going through it. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm so lucky that I have Chris, my husband. He has been my absolute rock in a time where he probably doesn't feel like being a rock as well. It, you know, it's hard for us both and it's brought us both so much closer together. We were close anyway, but I feel like we're literally like 
unbreakable through this and I feel like if a couple can get through this you can literally get through anything in life so yeah it's brought us so much closer we're so open with each other and he accepts me on my bad days I accept him on his bad days and we're kind of riding this wave together which is good it's not you know separate and it hasn't pushed us apart which I'm so grateful for because you do hear of this and I feel like it's made us both appreciate each other more. It's made us see what's important in life and that is to be happy. My amazing, amazing parents have been so supportive and they're just the greatest parents in the world. I literally hit the jackpot when I was born to those two. Um, and yeah, my friends have been amazing as well. Um, I feel like this is some sort of award show. <laughs> and obviously throughout all this process, this has brought me my little puppy, Bernie, who, has been my pillar of strength, to be honest. Like, having a little puppy has just given me that... I mean, he's my reason to get up in the morning. When I hear him barking to go out for a toilet, I'm like, yep, I'm out of bed. Whereas before, I would be sleeping in till like 10, 11, because I could not face getting out of bed. He's kind of changed that for me. And he's such an amazing, amazing thing to have around. He uplifts my mood. He's just given me that something to look after and something to kind of put my love to. So yeah, without going through these miscarriages, we would never have got a dog. We always say this, we would never have had a dog. So having Bernie is such a positive for me and for Chris and for my whole family. He's just brought so much love and joy back into a time when I didn't think anything would bring love and joy back into my life. So yeah, so that's, that's me. That's what's been going on for the last three years of my life. I, don't know what else to say in this video even though I thought about making this for so long and so many years I feel like that's just it I've just got it out there and I'm so happy and so glad I can finally share this with you guys and hopefully help you guys if there's any sort of videos you'd like to see on this then let me know I mean my channel's not going to become like a miscarriage channel but I'm very open to talking about this now so maybe I can do like a Q&A about miscarriage so if you do have any questions you can leave them below but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and if you're going through this I wish I could send you a massive virtual hug because I know you probably need it and if you're not going through this then hopefully me talking about this and opening up this conversation will let you understand it more because I had no idea what this was like before I went through it and you know if you've got a friend or a family member that's gone through it then hopefully you might know what to say to them next time. Just give them a cuddle. <laughs> so yeah, so thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you again in my next video, which will be back probably to fashionable beauty. So yeah. Ooh.